Why does ice float? That's not a naive question, because no other commonly occurring solid floats on its own liquid. The answer lies in the structure of the water molecule itself. Think of what a molecule is. Take a, a water molecule, for example. It's two hydrogen atoms stuck to an oxygen atom. That's two hydrogen nuclei, which have positive electric charge, sticking to an oxygen nucleus, which has a positive electric charge. And they're surrounded by negatively charged electrons. That's what sticks the atoms together. The, the negatively charged electrons tend to cluster around the oxygen nucleus, leaving those two legs of hydrogen slightly positively charged. That means that those positive charges can attract other negatively charged ends of other water molecules. So an oxygen can come and orientate itself and bond to that leg. On the other side, another oxygen from another water molecule will be attracted to the positive charge and bond to that leg. On the top, you get a hydrogen in bonding to that leg. So you can see you build up a structure, an open crystal structure, a shape, which is actually hexagonal. And it's that property, that open structure, which is a reflection of the underlying structure of the water molecule itself that leads to the solid ice being less dense than the liquid. And that is why ice cubes and icebergs float on liquid water.